Hello everyone, I've got my crock pot out. We're gonna make slow cooker sloppy joes. I'm reminiscing in the kitchen again because this recipe goes way back from when I was a child. On my birthdays, my mom would make slow cooker sloppy joes. For my birthday when I had my friends over, that's the best way to make a lunch. You ready? It's a ground beef recipe, classic. Let's go ahead and get started. In my sloppy joes, I love green bell peppers, and the yellow onion. So we're gonna go ahead and get those going so we can kind of soften those down just a little bit. Now I've already washed my bell pepper. I'm gonna go around the outside and cut off the outer layers. This is definitely a family favorite. just really easy to put together it's family friendly you can make a big huge batch of it you can freeze it so I'm cutting strips I'm doing two bell peppers because I've got about two and a quarter pounds of ground beef that I'm going to be cooking up with them you can go to one bell pepper if you want to do that or you don't have to put bell peppers in at all you can even do the colored bell peppers if you want to add some color to the dish. All right, and then just dice them up. I'm dicing them pretty big because, you know, in a crock pot, they tend to melt down. And we want to be able to find them. We're going to cook these first, get these going, because they're a heartier vegetable. I'm going to be using a large skillet. We're going to put it over medium-high heat. I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil to the pan. Start getting that nice and hot. While the bell peppers go in and start softening down, we're going to go ahead and start chopping up our onion. All right, let's start dicing this up. Add more oil if you need it. Make sure you put onion in your sloppy joes. It absorbs all of those flavors and they're nice and soft. Yeah, it'll bulk up your dish a little bit too. Just take off the ends, the outer layer, cut it in half, lay them on their side, now I'm going to make these rough chops because they'll melt down for sure, so I'm going to keep them pretty big. So big slices, and then turn it around, and then just cut through those. Then we'll go ahead and add these to our peppers. You can dice these really small if you don't want to find your onions in there. Thing. I know a lot of people like to hide onions because <laughs> of their kids. There we go. Let's add these to our peppers. All right, I'm going to run some salt over it and some black pepper. Make sure you season all your layers. I'm going to cook these until the onions are nice and soft and the peppers are soft. That gives them a good head start in our dish. Just do this for about two to three minutes. You don't want to over soften them. And then at that point, we're going to go ahead and add our ground beef. Now I've got two and a quarter pounds of ground chuck. We're going to place that in. I'm going to break it up with my meat chopper, or you can use a wooden spoon. We're going to cook this until the ground beef is no longer pink and cooked through. What's great about this is you can do this the night before you want to put this in your crock pot. 
That way it's already done and in the morning you can just put it in your crock pot with all of your ingredients. Or you can do it right now. I like to cook my ground beef before it goes in the crock pot because it's a texture thing. If you put it in there raw and with all your ingredients, the texture's a little different, so. And it may take longer to cook because you wanna make sure that it is totally browned through when you cook it in your crock pot. Okay, that's all that we're gonna be cooking. So just make sure you drain the grease out of your meat and peppers and onions. Turn off your burner. What we're gonna do is pour this into our crock pot. Now that we've got our ground beef, peppers and onions drained and into the bottom of our crock pot, we're gonna go over here and put all of this deliciousness, these ingredients that will turn this into sloppy joes into the crock pot. So it's kind of like a dump and go. Mustard, Worcestershire, salt, pepper, two cans of tomato soup. We've got ketchup, paprika for a little smokiness, onion powder, and garlic powder. We're gonna start off with two cans of tomato soup. These are 10 and a half ounces each. Now, if you don't have tomato soup, you can use tomato sauce. We're gonna add in half a cup of ketchup. Ketchup has that vinegar in it. Let me give it that little tang. We're gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Half a tablespoon yellow mustard. All right, we're gonna season this up with one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, I'm putting in half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now this is optional, it just gives it a little smokiness to it. Half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt. All right, we're gonna stir this all together. Oh, it certainly brings back memories of my childhood. I love reminiscing in the kitchen with old recipes that I grew up with. Y'all let me know down below what y'all like to reminisce in your kitchen with. Old, old recipes that are classic. You want to place a lid on. We're going to cook this on high for three hours, or you can cook it on low for no longer than six hours. You don't want this cooking any longer than six hours. I'm going to be back because I'm going to be ready to give this a try for you. Okay, this was three hours on high. The flavors just meld together. I'm ready to put this on a hamburger bun and give it a try for you. It's bringing back memories for sure. Well, that looks so good. All right, there's my crock pot, Sloppy Joe's. Y'all ready for a bite? <laughs> Oh yeah, it holds up really well in the bun. Mmm. Mmm. That is so delicious. If you've never tried tomato soup in a sloppy joe, you need to try it. It is so delicious. All those flavors just meld together. Oh my goodness, the seasonings. Make a lot of it, you guys. Freeze it, put it in your refrigerator for a couple of days. It'll be gone. Okay, let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.